testing is a crucial phase in the software development life cycle. It's like making sure your car can actually run before taking it on a long journey. A testing environment is like a special place where we carefully examine the software. It's made up of various parts like the hardware, which is the physical machines, software, programs and applications, and network settings, how devices are communicating. Here are some different types of testing environments. First, we have our development environment. This is where developers are actually writing their code to bring the concept or the idea of the project to life. And they're consistently making changes in this development environment. They will create and run their software in this environment. Then once they feel that it's stable and actually works, they'll move it to a testing environment. Next we have testing environment. Once the creators finish their work, it's time for a team of dedicated testers to step in. This is usually the software testing or QA team. Once it's in the QA environment, it should be stable and ready for testing. So QA testers are gonna test this application against the requirements promised to the customer. That way, their testing doesn't interfere with the building and development process. By this point, development is done. So you can confidently test what's being given to you. Next, we have our staging or pre-production environment. Imagine this as a rehearsal stage for a big performance. Your staging or pre-production environment is an exact copy of your production or real life environment. It should have the same configurations and setup as your real environment that customers regularly use. Here, you wanna make sure as an extra check that the software is behaving as expected. This is our last line of defense before customers actually receive it. Last but not least, the production environment. This is the actual place where real customers and people have access to the software. At this point, your software has to behave as expected because you have real life paying customers actually accessing and using the software. So if it's broken, they will realize it right away and be mad and be unhappy customers. The importance of separation. You may be asking, why keep these environments separate? Let's talk about it. Testing in the real production environment can lead to problems for customers. Quick break. If you need help on your software testing journey, check out my website. I have books and courses to help you along your journey. Now back to the video. Imagine I'm testing a customer's actual account in production. I'm making transactions on their account. If I'm a customer and I see random transactions, I'm gonna get scared and say, I didn't authorize this. Let me cancel my account just to be safe. So to prevent customers from getting scared because we're testing their stuff in the real environment, we're gonna test it in lower environments where they can't see any of this testing being done. Next, developing in a testing environment might affect quality. Imagine while I'm testing something, developers are still making changes. That means the software isn't stable. Today it could work, but then a developer tomorrow makes changes, then I have to test it again. And I have to keep testing it until it feels stable. That's not realistic to maintain in a real company. So instead, they do all their development in a development environment. They make sure everything is stable and then move that code or application to the testing environment. And that way at that point, we can test it confidently, knowing that it's complete and finished. Remember, as software testers, your job is to limit the amount of defects 
bugs, or problems that get released to production to the customers. And by having these different environments that simulate and separate development from testing from real customers, you get to adequately test and do your job to its fullest extent. If you found this video helpful at all, please like, share, and subscribe. If you need help on your software testing journey, check out my book, QA Must Know Vocabulary, as well as my courses available on my website. If you have questions, comments, concerns, or suggestions for future videos, leave them below. And most importantly, don't forget this, learn something new today.